What up with YouTube? Um, if you see my last video, I'm just like standing there with no shirt on talking. It looks a little choppy because I changed the operating system on my phone, and I don't know, just doesn't, doesn't, doesn't. Uh, what do you, what does that call it? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't mesh well with the camera. But either way, this video is actually about the bike because I am on my weight loss journey. I have 17 pounds to go. I've lost 83 pounds, and the only thing, the only thing that that I didn't factor in is wear and tear on a bike. I, for the last 30 pounds, I decided to to really lose it by riding a bike versus just going to the gym and kind of do what everyone else does. But I want to show you something right quick. This right, this right here was a tire that came with the bike. Bought this bike last right before it snowed. So this bike sat. I didn't ride it. Then I started riding it, and this compare this is a front tire gets a little less wear see how this is more defined that's that like it looks like healthy rubber almost compared to back tire middle piece is worn out this piece the middle gap right here some of them like the internal tread is showing I've blown this tire a couple times so someone gave me the idea to do it's called a double inner tube. I'm not sure if anyone's heard of it. So if you haven't have heard of it, if you have not have, if you haven't heard, if you haven't heard of it, maybe this could help you. And I'm struggling with the only language I know right now, English. So the double inner tube, what that is, is if you blow, really random, a lot of bike tires back there. Um, if you blow your uh, tire, you take the inner tube that pops. If you don't want to patch it, you cut the uh, the piece that you fill up the air. You cut that off, and then you cut it with a scissors or a razor blade or a knife or something like that. You've got it. Pretty much, you're just gonna cut a straight circle around the inside. You're gonna take that, make sure it's free of any kind of debris, and put it back in the tire, almost like a sock. And then you put the new inner tube inside of the old one. So technically, it would make it twice as thick. So. I'm going to try that on a newer tire. This came off of a different bike. The tread's a little different. I mean, this tire is not without its wear, but it's doing a lot better than the other one. And also, it kind of seems like this tire's a little more skinny. Like, it'd be better for the street, because that's what I do. I don't really off-road on this bike. It's more street, commuter vehicle type of thing. And uh, we'll get to that later. That beast. But, alright, <laughs> that's pretty much it, and this quick run down the bike, I actually did a couple upgrades on it, um, some high impact pedals, and keep in mind when you're, you know, how, how, how heavy was I when I started, uh, when, you're on, when you're almost, you're like 280 or whatever, stuff happens, you know, I got the bike when I was three, over 300 pounds. And uh, stuff happens like this. Snap the pedal clean off. But then when I snapped the pedal, I realized it really wasn't constructed for big people. So, I mean, this bike, I've tightened, feel like I tightened every bolt on the damn bike before I could ride it. That happens when you're big, right? So, I got these high impact pedals here. A lot thicker. Better construction. It's like they're almost two times as thick. And down there, I have a gel cover on my seat because uh, I'm not a big fan of a bike seat going up my ass when I'm riding. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to probably upload this onto YouTube. I'm still trying to get the hang of this whole thing. I don't know how it works with sponsorship and getting paid for videos and stuff. I'm not even, I don't even know what it's called. So I should do some more research on it. So I'm hoping that someone who watches this video will know what the hell it is and tell me. I'm really hoping that I don't have to do the work myself. But, unfortunately, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So, again, this is the bike. I just changed it. There's no air in this tire yet. Oh, and one other thing. From riding it, again, you know, being big, going side to side on the bike, like, my back tire, like, the bolt wasn't loose. The bolts weren't loose, but it was jiggling, like, vibrating like this while it was spinning. So I realized that there's, like, bolts that are closer to the center of the bike center of the tire that were actually a little loose so I just tighten those up and uh
we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, over and out. Later.